In this video, I'm going to show you how to label, sort, and group your cases. When you create a new project, cases are identified by their case number. This corresponds to their physical order in the database. We can change these descriptors to something more meaningful. To do this, go to the menu at the top of the screen and select Cases. Scroll down to Grouping Descriptor. A case description dialog box appears. Your cases can be displayed as a single sorted list or as a tree, grouped by the values of one or two variables. Let's display the cases as a list. Descriptors can be composed of the values associated with project variables. CaseNum is an additional system variable representing the physical location of a case in a project database. Let's replace the default descriptor with a custom one. To insert a variable into the description string, simply click it in the list of variables. You can also type additional text to be inserted into the descriptor. We'll use a hyphen to separate the values of two variables. Let's choose our second variable. To change the descriptor, select Apply, and we can see that descriptors have been updated. Changing the values of your variables will automatically be reflected in the case descriptor. Let's resort the cases by topic. Simply select the variable you'd like to resort on, in this case topic, and then click Apply. And the cases have been resorted by topic. It's also possible to sort on the values of two variables. Rather than having a single list of cases, we can have a tree. This is where we group cases by the values of one or two variables. We'll group cases by candidate. Select Apply to apply your changes. Grouping cases can be useful in large projects to easily locate and move to specific cases. Once you're happy with the way your cases are displayed, select Close.